This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We end today's show looking at U.S.-Indonesian relations. The White House is moving towards increasing aid to the Indonesian armed forces and lifting a 12-year ban on the training of the notorious Indonesian military unit known as Kopassus. The Special Forces Unit has been linked to scores of human rights abuses in East Timor, Aceh, Papua and Java since its formation in the 1950s. On Monday, Jeffrey Bader of the National Security Council acknowledged Kopassus had committed human rights violations in the past, but he said the Obama administration, quote, hopes to be able at some point to move past and resolve those concerns. President Obama was scheduled to travel to Indonesia next week, but the White House has announced the trip will be postponed till June because of the health care negotiations on Capitol Hill. The trip to Indonesia would have marked Barack Obama's first time returning to Indonesia since he was elected president. He lived in Indonesia for several years as a child. Well, yesterday I reached investigative journalist and activist Alan Nairn about his new investigation into assassinations by U.S. trained Indonesian Army and Kopassus officers. I reached him in Southeast Asia. President Obama wants to restore military aid to the Indonesian armed forces, including Kopassus, the Red Berets. I've just come out with a piece that shows that the Indonesian Army and Kopassus have been involved in a series of recent assassinations of, of civilian political activists. Uh, the piece names the names of the officers uh, involved, including a Kopassus general uh, named Sunarko. Uh, these assassinations were carried out uh, in the region of Aceh in late 2009. They targeted uh, activists for the uh, Aceh, uh, the uh, Partai Aceh, which is pro-independence. Uh, in one case, uh, the case of a man named uh, Tumi John, he was abducted, uh, tortured to death. His body was dumped uh, in a sewage ditch near an army post. Uh, in another, uh, uh, a man was sitting in his car outside his uh, house. An assassin uh, walked up, put two bullets in his head uh, through the window. According to uh, a senior Indonesian uh, official with detailed information uh, on these murders, they are part of a program of political murder uh, being carried out by the TNI, the Indonesian Armed Forces, and Kopassus, and BICE uh, military uh, intelligence. Uh, and these, so these killings are still going on uh, today, and Obama is about to give them new aid on the pretense that the Indonesian army has reformed and has stopped killing civilians, which is false. How do you know this, Alan? From people inside the Indonesian government who gave the names uh, of some of the killers and the officers uh, they work for. And just a few hours ago, uh, I spoke on the phone with uh, General Aditya, who is the head of the police in Aceh, and he confirmed uh, that his forces had, in fact, uh, detained uh, some of the assassins who were uh, working uh, for the army. They've been holding them for months. But they never announced this because they were afraid uh, to do it. The police are afraid of the army. Uh, but when I asked him about it uh, directly, he admitted it publicly for the first time. Uh, the Indonesian police have confirmed this. They know about it, but they're afraid to act. The Indonesian army and Kopassus are running a program of killing civilians, and it's active right now. And Obama wants to give them new U.S. weapons, training, and money. Why does President Obama want to give them this money? Um, I think we're hearing a lot about the war on terror. Well, first, the White House makes the argument that the atrocities are a thing of the past. Uh, the Indonesian military has killed hundreds of thousands, perhaps close to a million civilians. But the White House argues, well, that's in the past. But as I just described, that's a lie. That's not true. Secondly, the White House claims that they want to use the Indonesian army to fight uh, Islamist uh, terror groups uh, in Indonesia. They want to use them and a special uh, anti-terrorist unit called uh, Densus 88. Uh, 
Densus 88 is a police SWAT-style task force that was originally created by uh, U.S. intelligence uh, under the initiative of uh, Culver Black, formerly of the CIA, uh, now of Blackwater. Uh, uh, two nights ago, I met with uh, Densus uh, people who described how were they uh, were trained uh, in Jakarta and elsewhere uh, by CIA personnel uh, in tactics, uh, including how, uh, surveillance, how to pursue and snatch uh, people, uh, and uh, interrogation. Alan Nairn, talk about the significance of President Obama postponing his trip to Indonesia until June. I think it is still possible. Uh, that the deal they were making with the Indonesian army may still go forward, uh, because for the past few days, other top U.S. officials, including uh, Kurt Campbell, the Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, have been in Indonesia. Uh, um, U.S. generals have been in Indonesia. In fact, Kopassus general, Kopassus generals even went to Washington and were welcomed by the Obama people with open arms. They were working out the details of this new pact. And it is possible that even though Obama himself won't visit, they will still try to uh, push this deal through. So that means specifically that they may uh, go ahead with their already announced plans to circumvent the U.S. Congressional Leahy Amendment, which bans training uh, for units involved in atrocities and boosts their training for capacitors. I think, however, politically, practically speaking, that it may be possible to at least uh, defeat politically that aspect of the deal. Uh, uh, there are various reasons to think that's possible. The East Timor Action Network uh, is running a campaign to stop it. Just in the past few hours, uh, human rights groups and survivors of army terror in Aceh uh, have come out, and Indonesian national human rights groups have come out with a statement asking Obama to not uh, increase the training for uh, Kopassus. So I think that deal perhaps could be stopped, and um, uh, people should uh, contact Congress and the White House, uh, demand that the U.S. cut off all military aid to Indonesia, and they can go to the East Timor Action website and uh, get details about the Kopassus aspect of the problem. But this issue of terrorism, of Islamist terror, can you expand on that more? In Indonesia, there are currently Islamist terror groups that have killed several hundred people. They bombed uh, luxury hotels in Jakarta. Uh, they bombed a nightclub. Uh, they bombed uh, two nightclubs in Bali. They've killed uh, several hundred in recent years. The Indonesian military and police, on the other hand, have killed many hundreds of thousands. And for years, the Indonesian uh, military and police have been sponsoring uh, Islamist uh, terror groups. They've been using them for, uh, for their own uh, purposes. Uh, they sent them uh, into Poso uh, and the Moluccas. Uh, Indonesian uh, generals backed them. They went on Indonesian uh, military uh, transports. Uh, they used them to attack uh, Christian uh, villagers, while other uh, uh, elements of the army and police back the Christian villagers. The idea was to create chaos to try to destabilize the government of then Indonesian president, uh, Gus Dur, uh, and it succeeded. On another occasion, the Indonesian army sent a group called Laskar Jihad, uh, an Islamist a terror group, uh, into Aceh uh, to try to uh, wean people away from supporting the pro-independence movement in Aceh. Uh, they were immediately driven out by the Achenese. The Indonesian police have backed a group called the FPI, the Islamic Defenders Front, uh, which goes around uh, Jakarta in Islamic dress, uh, busting up bars which don't give uh, sufficient uh, payoffs, uh, payoffs to the police. Uh, then the Presidential Intelligence Agency, which reports now directly to uh, General Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, the president of Indonesia, uh, uh, they have in the past uh, made uh, payments uh, to Laskar uh, Jihad and sent them uh, into Papua. Uh, 